Hey Santa Barbara, did you know that our highest price sale for the month of August 2023 was a jaw-dropping $15.85 million? That was for that beautiful private Ennisburg estate with ocean views, so I, I get it. Yeah, and our lowest price sale for the South in the South Coast was a two-bedroom condo that closed at $830 grand. Yeah, which is slightly above Carp's condo median sales price at $800,000, but it is definitely below Santa Barbara's condo median sales price, which was just under 1.4 mil. And what's funny to think is that during pandemic, I could remember showing condos in Santa Barbara proper yeah. for like 650 grand yeah. telling people you should buy that because it's not gonna last very long. It's so crazy. And to think that it's already doubled, yeah. you know, it's just, it's unreal. Absolutely, and I mean, prices have increased, but, but quite honestly, sales are down. I mean, last month we had 73 single family sales and that was down by 25%, and we had 33 condo sales, which was down by 8%. Yeah, and our median sales price for a single family home was just about 1.9 million last month. Yeah. And our overall median sales price for a condo in the South Coast was just above a million dollars. Yeah, absolutely. What's really interesting though is almost half of all transactions are still cash transactions. Wow. That has not seemed to slow down at all. In some months we're well above 50% yeah. cash. It's just unreal how many people want to move money into our market. Exactly, and that's a big reason why interest rates really haven't had as much of an impact on our market as other places in the U.S. You know, right now sellers can still have an advantage. They just need to price things right and they need to present their home accurately. Yeah, I mean some homes are still seeing multiple offers and going uh, over the asking price. Yeah. I saw a house this last week, right around $4 million go pending in six days. So if the house has a lot to offer, it's priced well and it looks good, it's still a seller's market. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's really important to understand that pricing is key. It's not like the old days where you just list your home, smack a price on it, and you'll probably get over that, you know? Right. We're really advising our clients, get a good price and present your home well. And for our buyers, I would say right now, there's a time to get out there and try to negotiate with some of the homes Absolutely. that are sitting on the market as our inventory has uh, built up slowly. We're just about 2.2 months of inventory. I think there are some opportunities for the buyers that are out there. Right, absolutely. I mean, if you capitalize on the sellers who maybe had a strategy of pricing high, they've been sitting there, they're a little bit worried. It's now our opportunity to go in, give them a price, negotiate on terms, still be able to get inspections, see what's going on in the house, and then make sure that you're making a really great purchase. Yeah, because I think just, just from a listing uh, agent experience, we're not seeing too many people come forward with lowball offers. Maybe buyer confidence isn't there, maybe their agent doesn't want to submit it, but I feel like if you're not afraid to get out there and, and try to negotiate, there's an opportunity for a buyer with some of the homes that are sitting. Absolutely. I mean, still the average days on market for a single family home is 30 and for condos it's 24. So when homes are sitting longer than that, you have sellers that are questioning what's going on and Definitely. obviously they want to sell. So that's the opportunity for our buyers right now. Definitely. Well, that's our market update for the month of August, 2023. I'm Abel Ramos with Compass. I'm Jackie. We'll see you next month.